people? What's up, people? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another Stadia dosage. But before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all, straight up. Because you know the slogan, you know the deal. And even going into 2020, I'm going to still say it. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. So, you see it on the screen. This is a snapshot of some of the games that are available in the Stadia store. And this is what I want to do here, y'all. I want to talk about pricing. Because one of the biggest questions that I get people from people behind the scenes, they say, seriously, look, 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 look. We know you out here, you fighting a good fight for Stadia and all that other stuff. And I'm in, I am interested in, in the platform and I might get it in 2020. But here's my question. What's my incentive of getting the game when the games are the same price? Like, why, why would I do that? You know, and, and to that, I say this. People are looking at this completely wrong. They're, right now at release, it's a second tier system. All of its features aren't out. You know what I'm saying? They 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 haven't the, the full mobility of the system isn't fully supported yet, where it's all on, on all Android devices and all that other stuff. And this early access release is less to do about hey everybody, here goes the Stadia product than it is to say our biggest enthusiasts, we need your help. Help us, give us all that critical play data that we need in order to get this thing thriving going into the next generation of consoles. Because in order for us to buck with the next generation of consoles, these mugs is talking about doing consistent 4K60. We're already offering that in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're promising in 2020, but people are used to their consoles. So in order for us to make sure that the 4K isn't just being rendered to your 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 Chromecast in 4K, that you're actually getting 4K resolution. And in order for us to make sure you're getting that 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, we gotta help our developers get more used to the platform. And we gotta do that through what? Gameplay data. So help us help you. If you invest in with $130, you'll get access to games. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you early access. You'll get your name and all the other stuff. And then you'll get to play this outstanding platform. Even in this earliest phases, you'll get to do it ahead of everybody. Behind all the crazy advertisements and all the other stuff that you see, that truly is what Google wants us to do. To the biggest enthusiasts of the tech, they sit here, opt in, buy into this, and then we're gonna give you some, some, some good things. We're gonna make it worth your while. Just give us some time. And they have done that. They have done that. It started off rocky. People didn't get their consoles on time, but they made up for that. The customer service has been great. They have some great deals, and they finally come through with some big games like Borderlands 3, to mention um, uh, just one game, right? Um, So, when people say the price is too much, I get it. This is not a release for the average gaming consumer. You know what I'm saying? You, A lot of you guys already been there and done that with these games, right? Cool. Gotcha. <laughs> Excuse me. But you, what you got to remember is that these are ports. And it's a lot more difficult to keep cost efficiency down with ports. We see it a lot with Nintendo Switch. These were games that were developed and they're taking a game that was developed for something else and they're porting it over to make it work and tinkering with it to make it work, work on the Stadia platform the best way that they can, right? So it's hard to keep those costs down and they did do a good job of that in the middle part of this whole early access. But now we're going into 2020 where it will be for full retail release and the games are going to be developed from the ground up for Stadia. So because of that, you're going to see more of that 4K capability, right? You're going to see more solid frames per second, even though the frames per second are a lot better than what you're getting um, on consoles now. And even though you're not getting full 4K resolution from the base software, you know what I'm saying? It's being upscaled to 4K resolution to your Chromecast. You're going to see a lot more 
closer development towards 4K resolution from the base application because again, it's gonna be built from the ground up for Stadia. That being said, even in early access, some of the perks are you're getting better frame rates and you're getting better resolution than what's on most of the consoles that are out there, which are the PlayStation 4 Slims and the Xbox One S's. See, people want to talk about the X, but the X is likely the, the least selling console out there. Everybody don't have an X. <laughs> most of the people out there either got PlayStation 4 Pros or Xbox One S's when you talk about the big the big two you know what i'm saying so stadia is giving you better visuals than that over the internet over all you gotta do is pay for a joystick and a chromecast ultra that's their sell right now going into 2020 they got they, you know they gotta they gotta boast more power where you're getting consistent 4k you're getting consistent 60 frames per second however you're getting it at a fraction of a cost you ain't gonna have to pay the 499 or likely the 599 that you're gonna have to pay for the Series X. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have to pay the 399 or maybe the 499 that you gotta pay with the PlayStation 5. Uh, you know, what I mean? uh, a console. You get it all for a buck thirty if you want a Chromecast, and you get the best mobility out here. So that's what I say to those that are questioning the price. Again, I get it. You gotta understand right now that this may this is not for you guys unless you're a real enthusiast of the tech. You know, and if you don't mind double dipping, if you don't, if I, I love Borderlands 3, so I'll play it everywhere. You know what I mean? The same like how I love Borderlands 1, I'll play it everywhere. Um, but if you're interested in the tech, this was for you and you really were rewarded with it after the dust settled. If it isn't for you, then if you weren't a big enthusiast of the tech, then come back at 2020 when this thing is fully shining. And then you'll see what the $60 is all about. You'll see what the full price is all about. But you got to understand the dynamic of it being early access and what they were really trying to attempt with the early access. And you got to understand that these are ports. Okay. And hopefully that all makes sense. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I have to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I have to say, check me out on my other platforms. I rock out with Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, and Hard Knock Digital Culture. Okay? Links to all of those below. And with that being said, enjoy your New Year's. All right? I might drop it. Like I said, I'm going to drop another video, I think, before the end of the year. With that said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.